Hey everyone, this is James from Seaforge, creators of Fat Finger, and the review on the Class 1 Division 2 Rugged iPad Mini uh, Intrinsically Safe Case. And so here we go. Just kick it off to first we'll go with just the, nor the normal, uh, the first the inner shell. So the iPad Mini would just be placed in here, as you see. Um, you have clear plastic so you can uh, see see the iPad mini when when you put it in um, you can see the vents this is where the charging uh, cable connect connector would be as well as the uh, uh, headphone jack would be here uh, again here's a window for the camera so nothing you know the iPad mini's capability will not be inhibited at all you would place the iPad right here then Simply just put the other side here. The iPad's screen would be facing up here. And you just press these two together. Sorry, I had to put the camera down to, to clip them together. It's uh, quite ruggedized, so um, you know the, the fasteners and everything is, is quite tough to get in and out, but uh, it uh, shows the, the quality of the, of the case. So here, as you see, the charger would, you'd stick your charging cable right through there and then just close that port. Snap that closed, as well as, this would all just get firmly snap shut. Here is your volume controls as well as the switch. Again, camera port. And headphone jack. So that is secure so this is waterproof. Just easily put that, take that in and out. So that is the inner shell. You'll then have the outer not ballistic nylon case here. Um, we'll start at the back. So it has the certifications right here, the labels. So class one, division two, group A, B, C, and D. Uh, it's ATEX zone two, as well as I believe it's TIS. Just let me confirm that. Um, yeah, TIIS approved for for uh, Japan standards. So that's C1, D2 for typically that's uh, Canada and the United States. ATEX Zone 2, which is approved for Europe, and then TIIS uh, approved for Japan. So here, this is a hand strap, so you can stick your hand through here. And maybe when you're walking around, you can easily just be, be open up this case. Here, so I can be walking and typing or you know, reading procedures, etc. So, this inner shell goes inside here, is inner Velcro. Just let me put the camera down and I'll put that in. Okay, so now the inner shell is in the outer nylon 
case and you do need them uh, together, they are not intrinsically safe if you uh, take, you, you have to have both pieces in the nylon case uh, over top of the inner shell. Um, so now that is in. So this is a you know, protective flap, so if this is in your toolbox, you can close this and the screen will not get damaged. Um, it is quite thick, so if you look, I'm, I'm trying to bend that there. Uh, it is quite quite ruggedized. You have a little pocket here to put maybe some papers, etc. in. Um, and then you have these straps here. So this is also used as a sunshade. So you can, there's two of them on both sides. Um, and you can, you can use that as a, as a sunshade or uh, maybe protecting from falling debris if you're in a, in a intense area. Um, then we have a, a little carrying case there as well as you could you know, strap your, uh, this down to a working at heights thing. Pin or stylus holder here. That easily just goes back in here. This is Velcro so it stays shut. And yeah, your iPad screen would be here and you can easily just use it. Uh, if you close that up, again, just giving you a complete look around the whole thing. All sides. Have it. That is the Class 1 Division 2 ATEC Zone 2 TIIS um, certified intrinsically safe iPad mini retina case. Um, check out, you know, we have more stats online, certifications, all at cforge.com. We're also the creators of Fat Finger, so you can digitize and automate all of your procedures and inspections. Um, and let us know if you have any questions and comments. Happy to help out and happy shopping. Take care.